uh, finally going to install my turbo kit or what I have of it. I think it's like 90% complete. Uh, I've got the turbo, manifold, downpipe, uh, bypass valve, all that good stuff. For the charge pipe, I'm actually going to build one out of a PVC pipe because this is like a cheap budget build after all. And uh, yeah, me and my buddy Donnie from the Elite Model Tech, he's going to be helping me install the kit in this uh in this turd box right here and uh let me show you what i'm working with here just yeah i got my parts laid out here so down pipe turbo wastegate manifold some fittings and bungs and sandwich plate and all that good stuff i need to try to get all this so we we'll start off with the manifold turbo wastegate feed feed line the plate oil pan and then after that might as well stick on the down pipe or maybe I'll do that with this uh no I'll yeah I'll do it after the feed just in case the down pipe gets in the way of running the uh the oil lines and stuff like that so I'll do the down pipe after the uh get the oil taken care of and then after that the only thing left really is the plane with the PVC and then messing with all the vacuum lines So, alright, that's it. Manifold turbo wastegate, play with the oil lines, uh, downpipe, and then work on the charge pipe by the PVC, and then start routing on the vacuum lines. So, that is the plan for today. wonder how many problems we're going to run into. Alright, I got the manifold bolted up, secured, all the nuts tight, and I actually forgot I have to reclock the turbo to get this uh, oil feed kind of up and down instead of it's kind of pointing all crazy right now. Yeah, it's, that's not going to work, so I'm going to have to, should have done this off the manifold. Oh yeah, it's, it's just hand tight on the actual flat right here, so yeah, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to get get it clocked right right now. Alright, so we've done so far, manifold turbo wastegate is kind of just mocked up right now, just sitting in place where it's going to be. Next thing we're going to do is the feed, get the, the, the plate in, the feed line, and get the thing hooked up to the top of the turbo. The uh, restrictor, oil flow restrictor. Look how tiny that thing is. Did you see that? Is your 1540 gonna go through there? Like, if it's like. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, that's tiny. Alright, so that's, that's what we're gonna do right now. Alright, so right now I'm working on the feed line. This is the sandwich plate. I already tape on taped it up and fed it in there. And this side does not move. I had to actually rotate the, uh, the plate to get it to tighten. And this side moves. So this side uh, probably needs to be done first. And then you can go over and tighten it on the turbo. So that's what I'm, what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and feed this back to where the uh, oil filter is. I'm going to take the oil filter off and start letting this go. <laughs> what that mean? I'm gonna put thread locker on the threads that go into the engine side to keep it in there for when I do oil changes to keep that tighter than the actual oil filter. Couple 
dabs. This, I think, could be in any direction. There, there's a gasket on one side. That's how you can tell which side goes on the engine. There's a gasket there. This might not work the way we have it routed. I see a hole going straight up through the intake manifold. That'll be, like, perfect. Much better. Right there, dude. I couldn't. It's, it's a pain in the ass to get those sockets out of that thing. Hang on, this is a little bitch. Oh, this is a Jeep rated channel. I don't like my channel. I click F bomb all the time. Everywhere. F this, F that. Buy my product. <laughs> Oh, it's just it. Just it. That's, that badass craftsman ratchet. You gotta move it like 90 degrees to click. Ah, better than messing with the SEGA unit, huh? Oh, yeah, that's 100 times quicker and super clean. Alright. Oil pan. That and the box wall right there. Once you go there, you can't turn back. You better give the wife a phone call. Make sure everything's okay before we start cutting into the pan. This car's gonna be living here at my house for a little while, which is fine. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> what, what, it's gonna be easy, man. What are you talking about? All right. what if I'm curious to see what comes out of it. If I could, like, it'd be cool if like a cup came out. Oh, there's stuff in there. Cool. We'll get that. I've never changed the oil in this car. I know. Yeah, about. <laughs> Like I always do. Oh yeah, I did. Of course. Clutch sludge. Clean. There's no bubbles. <laughs> Where's the coke at? <laughs> the coke. The coke and the bubbles, man. Yeah, man. No, no coke, no bubbles. There's no leakage. Why does it smell like deodorant? That's my motto. It's alright. It's alright. Another piece. Like oh, but it's part of it, you know? Crepage. Oh, yeah. Alright, so now I'm gonna start drilling out the pan to accept my little Ace Hardware bung that I made. And I first marked it here, but I was gonna put it below the baffle inside the pan. So I moved it up to put it above this little baffle. And for some reason, uh, I can't tell you why, but it's, it's better if it's draining above the oil level. So, I'm going to try to catch the shavings as I go. Right there. Set. Okay. And that is perfect. See how much shavings I have to deal with on the inside. <laughs> Dang, it's not bad. Took all the all the crap stayed outside of it.
All right, so now uh, we're working on getting the uh, the drain line hooked up to the uh, fittings or whatever. And the the stainless braid actually has to be pretty perfect to slide through this little uh, fitting here because that has to go first, and then it threads on to the to that bit. So we we'll try to clean it up, get a really clean cut, so then I can slide it through. Okay, right, you want to cut you want to cut right through the tape, to the center of the tape. Keep the that will keep it from fraying. Ah! Ah! I thought you were scooping it. <laughs> well, alright, <laughs> you can get that. So that's supposed to go in the center and kind of expand it out. Of course, we can just use a razor blade on the tape, go around it, you know, on that edge instead of trying to pull it out. Kind of pull like a hose. Yeah. Got that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to pop it off. I want to like press the neck or something and go over a little bit more. Look at that. Make two of us. Pretty important. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess you can just you, know, you can just run the razor blade against that edge and just pull then pull the tape off of it. Okay. Looks bo bo good, huh? Bo good for sure. Yeah. So I'll do the downpipe after the uh, get the oil taken care of, and after that, the only thing left really is the plane with the PVC, and then messing with all the vacuum lines. So, all right, that's it. I got the uh, I got my hand on it. Oh no, we're good. Even after we, we're going to bend it and everything? Yeah, it's going to be good? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of room right here. Alright. It's, it's going to melt the fuck out of that PVC. <laughs> okay, so... Help me envision this. Make sure we don't get it all in one trip. Up it here. Is there another 90 up there? PVC 90?
down pipe's not gonna touch that? Yeah, they wrap it. Hopefully it should get ready. I'm not very good at the guess guess gasonomics. Um it's at least uh, seventeen inches. Get off camera is went to Home Depot, picked up some uh, couplers and PVC pipe for my charge pipe. So some 90s, straight pipe, straight pipe. I think we used one, two, three 90s. Two pieces of straight pipe and then a, like an eBay short ram intake. And I never talked about this thing. This is an Audi uh, bypass valve. I think it was like five bucks on Amazon. So uh, on the cheap. On the cheap. Everything's on the cheap. I think my charge pipe altogether was about 40 to 50 bucks. <laughs> Look at that thing hang down, holy shit. That's awesome. Uh, uh, right, that down with the 12. Huh? Isn't that wrong with the 12? Yeah. I'm gonna have to try to find some bolts real quick. Okay, we got, we got, we got, we got what we need right here. Vents. Look, bottom port. Charge. Top. Vent. Vent where? Just vent. Anywhere? Somehow, I need to plug this up. Vent. Vent for what? You don't run both of them to it? You don't run one, another one to it? On some pictures they did. Some they did. Alright, so we got the charge pipe hooked up. All the vacuum lines, I think they're hooked up the way they're supposed to be. I don't know what I'm doing. Let me see if it boosts. Uh, all right, so we're gonna prime it right now. I unplugged the fuel injectors. I'm gonna crank it over and get oil going through the turbo. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's primed up. Bleeding all, all over the floor. It took a while to make it up the line, I guess, huh? Yeah. Had a fill up the oil filter, maybe? Yeah, maybe maybe for now on, uh, you might just, when you start the car, just not take off right away. Okay. Prime, prime it again? Well, yeah, prime it one more time and then fire up. Alright, one more prime. Okay. Ready when you are. Can't wait to see it spin. You, you know, do stuff. You want me to go started? Yeah. You ready? You ready to get started? Probably not. But. Okay. Yep.
So the first test drive, uh, it boosted like two pounds of boost and it blew off my PVC pipe. So we put some uh, self tappers at the connections to stop it from doing that again. Dude, we're getting nuts. 